Hey guys, my name is Nate Thurston and this is Good Morning Liberty. Every single day at 7 a.m. I'm gonna get on here and I'm gonna discuss a really simple topic in regards to politics, in regards to life, maybe a little bit of economics, something you hear about in the news that you can bring back to your friends and your family. Maybe we'll talk about something you never thought about before. Uh, I'm gonna give you an example. This is my first show, so show. It's a live video on my cell phone. But uh, I'm going to give you an example of something that I might do every day. I saw this hashtag the other day on Twitter, I think, from Senator Bernie Sanders talking about CEO versus worker pay. He was just going off, going on and on about it. And so I wanted to take something that I saw in there that I realized. Because a lot of people, when you hear about how much these guys are making, or girls are making, um, they like to use it as an excuse for why people aren't getting paid enough money. Whenever you hear that a CEO like Doug McMillan from Walmart is getting paid $22 million a year, which then Senator Sanders came out and said is about $11,000 an hour. How can you hear about that and not just get all emotional and just be like, wow, they're paying him that much money and I'm only getting $9 an hour or $11 an hour? Like, if they can afford to pay him $11,000 an hour, then they can afford to pay their workers more. I can't tell you how many times I've heard this. I'm going to tell you why that's not true. It's not true at all. We're going to take Walmart. We got hashtag CEO versus workers. If you saw that hashtag going around anywhere. Um, this guy makes $22 million a year. $22 million. It's a lot of quiche. I'd love to be making that much money. I don't know about you, but there's a lot of great things you could do in the world if you're making that much money. For sure. Charlie, you tell me if this whole video thing is messed up anymore. I think it's, I think it might be fixed. Um, this guy's making 22 million a year. That's a lot. Sanders said, that's $11,000 an hour. And he's trying to get you all riled up. He's trying to get you mad. This guy's making all that money and you're not getting any of it. Well, let me tell you why his pay in no way affects what you're making if you work for Walmart or if you're going to talk about it. Even more important. Another figure that you might not have looked up is that Walmart has around 2.5 million employees across their 20,000 locations. Now remember, this guy making that much money is taking care of that many locations. First off, he's responsible for whether or not they make money. So since you think that his hourly pay is somehow affecting what all the hourly workers are making, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take his hourly pay, which Sanders says comes out to about $11,000 an hour, and we're gonna pay him nothing. We're just gonna pay him nothing because that's gonna fix the problem, right? We're gonna free up all that money and you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it to all of the employees evenly. That way we can give them all a raise because you said that if they can afford to pay him that, then they can afford to give all of these people a raise. Well, let me take his entire salary and divide it out to these people. That comes out to a whopping, let me tell you what the hourly raise is here because it's gonna change your life. 0. 0.004, that is less than half of a cent per hour. That's not gonna change anything. Maybe that doesn't do it for you. You wanna see it in a little bit bigger number. We're gonna take his $22 million a year and we're just gonna divide it out again to all of these 
2.5 million employees. We're gonna give all of them a yearly raise based off of taking all of this guy's money that he's making. That'll fix the problem. Well, this guy's $22 million a year divided out to the 2.5 million employees comes out to a whopping salary increase for these people. This, you're really changing things here. You're changing it. Eight dollars and 80 cents per year, not a day, per year that you'd be able to increase everyone's pay because they have so many employees. It's a huge company. We'll do it one other way. Once again, Doug McMillan making $22 million a year. Good for you, Doug. They got 20,000 stores, 20,000 locations. It's not exactly 20,000. Don't comment on here and say, oh, they got 19,567. I just looked it up. Um, they got 20,000 locations. Each one of these locations, if you want to look at it this way, is chipping in $1,100 per year to make sure that there is a competent person running the company whose name is on the front of their building. $1,100 that they're chipping in per year to pay the person who's responsible for making sure that they remain profitable all the time. Because remember, you took away this guy's salary now to give everyone this whopping raise. Who's running the company? Who's running all those stores? Because now you don't have a guy running the company that knows what they're doing. And maybe these 2.5 million employees end up needing to file for unemployment. So that's just a little example of what we're gonna do here on this show every day. I wanna talk about one more thing and that's knowing your principles. I know my principles. I know what I believe in. I believe in one really simple thing. I own myself. I own my body. That's an easy thing, right? Do you own your body or does someone else own your body? Come on, answer the question. You own your body. Since I own my body, I own anything that this body does with my time, as long as I'm not spending time stealing stuff from other people's bodies. So when I make money, it's a pretty simple question. Do I believe that taxes are against my principles? Obviously they are. That's my money, which I, tr I traded my time in for. You only get a certain amount of time in this life. You trade your time in for money, and then someone comes and takes it from you without your permission. Whatever percentage they decide they want to take from you, how can that be okay? That's not okay. Can't be. You can rationalize it all day and say, hey, we need this and we need this. I'm not arguing with you, but it's not okay to take people's stuff without their permission, is it? So, know your principles. If you're a Republican, maybe uh, we talk about the Fourth Amendment. And you're like, oh, right, the privacy, yeah, obviously, but back in the 1700s, they didn't have all this stuff we have today. The technology is just, it's so different now. You know, we've got all these new threats, and, you know, we just have to, we got to change around some things, and, and we can let that slide because of America and freedom, 9-11. And I don't know. If you're okay with letting the Fourth Amendment slide because things are different these days, why aren't you okay with letting the Second Amendment slide because things are different these days? They didn't have these weapons back in the 1700s, did they? We didn't have the threats back then that we have right now. All I'm saying is know your principles. I'm not saying change the Second Amendment. Definitely not. Um, but know what you believe in. If you're going to sit there and talk one amendment and say, oh, well, it was different back then. Things are different now. You're going to have to apply that across the board to everything. And I don't think you want to. If you're a Democrat, and I've heard this a lot of times, you can't legislate morality, can you? You can't legislate morality. You know you agree with me if you're a Democrat. You can't legislate morality. This comes to gay marriage, abortion, whatever you were talking about, whatever social thing you were talking about, and I agree with that, you can't legislate morality. The government cannot 
cause things to be moral or immoral. But why is every single thing that you guys talk about on a daily basis about making laws to fix greed? Does that make any sense? Because earlier you just said you can't legislate morality, but then you spend all your time trying to legislate things that you think are moral or immoral. Guys, all I'm talking about is know your principles. I just scared the crap out of my cat just then. Look at that. She's checking out the outside. All right, guys, if you like it, hit the like button on the page, Good Morning Liberty. Share it, share the video, tell a friend, use the little exercise I just did with the CEO worker pay, and share it with some people. It's a pretty simple concept. Um, until next time, I'm going to be back here at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. I'm going to be here at 7 a.m. every morning on this page, spending two, three, four minutes talking about a little thing like that, that maybe you can take it out into your day and show people some stuff. Thanks a lot, guys.